Do you know what? People moan about fur and ball. If you moan about fur and ball, you've obviously not used this. Welcome chillings, Phil Beckwith, the professional painter and decorator. Recently, you've seen, I'm doing a, a series, I don't want to call a series. I'm doing, what is it there? I can't remember. If you're looking at me, it's there. Yeah. I'm doing a series on testing paints. Now, you've seen the link there. It's um, product testing different paints, mainly white, because white's the one that's um, always a bit troublesome when it comes to actually um, getting to cover. But off the back of this, I've had um, people contact me, um, reps, paint suppliers, paint manufacturers, saying, Phil, try one of our paints out, see what you think. So um, I'm willing to oblige. Anybody who wants to contact me, you can probably get me on Instagram, Facebook or something like that. Um, but you've seen in this series, I've been doing Benjamin Moore recently, um, was that last week. Very impressed with that. We went over the door that's got the black and the cream chalk paint, which we knew we'd probably have a little bit of problems going over the black, uh, which you'd expect. And I've always said, if you've got a dark colour and we're contrasting colours being totally different, give it an extra coat, so that would be three. But mainly we want to try and see if we can get some water-based paints that cover for two coats. Now, I know it's a big ask because a few months ago, I've been doing um, the videos where it's been one undercoat with two top coats, and that is your process really for your water-based paints, which is fine. If you know that's what you've got to do, you price for it, and um, it's one of those things you put down on your quote that you say, it's one undercoat, two top coats. You can't go wrong. Don't skimp. Don't think you can get away with no undercoat. Don't think you can get away with only one top coat. You don't get the best you don't get the best performance out of the paint, that's what I'll say. But on this recent series, I've been trying to do the paints that are said to do two coats. Benjamin Moore, really impressed with. The one after that, was that the um, Dulux Trade? Yeah, diamond, diamond satin wood. Yeah, let's move on from that. But, but yeah, some people might like it. But I'd also got, as a sample to try, the quick try, quick, not quick try, quick dry satin wood. Now I want to know, is there a difference between the diamond and the quick dry? Now this is a hard wearing paint, very much like the Benjamin Moore, which is fine because that test, those two paints were tested on Doris the Door and I did half of it with Benjamin Moore and the other half with the diamond and we compared Will you tell me what you thought to those two videos? But today, what I'm going to do, I'm going to, I've taped up half the door because I want to use the other half uh, when I use um, quick drying undercoat and tr um, quick drying gloss. So we can compare all the finishes. But for this, I'm going to put a tape down the middle. I'm going to do a quarter stroke, a quarter of the door in the satin wood, quick dry satin wood, and then the other section, I'm gonna do it in the Dulux um, diamond satin wood. And let's see what they're both like compared to each other next to each other. The background, we haven't got any blacks. We're not gonna make it um, really difficult. We've not got any dark blues. We've got no obscure colors like that. This is just a, a deepish cream which if you go into a house that might be old gloss and it's gone off and it's really yellowed or even if you i can't even say a pub refurb now that used to have nicotine but you can still go into houses that have got quite badly stained woodwork um, stroke trim if you're in america so what we're going to do is try it over this dark cream color and see what they're like now you know what i said about oh, the diamond satin wood is a six hour recoat time. So off the back of that, this satin wood, quick dry satin wood is a four to six hours. So to give them both a chance, I'm giving it a coat today, both sides, and then I'll do a second coat tomorrow. Then they've had more than six hours, both of them. And we're giving it a fair crack at the whip. So, um, 
let me coat this up we'll fast forward that and then we'll come back to review then we'll get a second coat on tomorrow and then we'll do a roundup so uh, let's see how we go I think that line down the middle is straight enough for what we need and um, we're saying about that cream colour if you remember or want to watch a video it'll be there that was the BL um, Sutura that is the best paints that you can't buy now the reason I'm trying these paints out is because Dulux contacted me and said try these because they're equivalent we will see you know what I thought about the diamond let's see if we can get there what we like with this one Put you just there now i'm not using my usual wix brush i'm going to use the arrow worthy yarrow worthy slash cut really nice bristle um let's give it a fair crack at the whip on this one i like that fair crack at the whip i think when the sun moves the sun's a bit low right starting off Right hand side, we're going to go with the quick dry. Oh, sun's lovely. Quick dry satin wood. Make sure you give them a good stir up when you first get them because they do get a bit of the resins on top. See what this is like. Not bad, let's swap across to the um, diamond now. This is the diamond satin wood. You know what I think about this one. I'm going to put my neck on the line on this. If you, as a painter and decorator, are using that diamond satin wood, can you tell me what other paints you've tried that you like to be using diamond satin wood? I want to know what the USP is. What's the ultimate selling point of that paint? Because although it went on a bit better being on a, a satin finish, I rubbed that door down before we went on on air it was rubbed down and dusted off just like to break because it was a good condition door that still pulled like a sticky like treacle oh, not quite as bad as treacle i've got the sun again i mean the sun's moves around doesn't it it's not hot like i had on the previous video for trying it out that isn't an easy paint to apply for a mere professional, Phil Beckwith, a professional painter and decorator, four years at college, I should be able to apply that, and that is not an easy paint to apply. Now that satin wood, I would say, I won't call it a dream to put on, that was a lot easier. Now, I keep saying, I keep going over, over the last few months I've been trying different paints out. <laughs> I hate the word go to. I really hate the word go to. I would not be picking up that, the diamond satin wood, as a main usage, because I don't want to use the word go to, paint. It's not nice to apply. Let's let it dry before we say what the coverage is like. You know what the last video was like. But 
the ordinary, the quick dry satin wood went on nicely. So if you're a professional or a, an amateur professional, an amateur professional DIYer, whatever you want to call yourself, you might be just getting into painting. You want paints that go on nicely and cover nicely, flow out nicely and give you a great finish. Don't get me wrong, you'll probably get a great finish on all of these paints that we've been testing and you do. But particularly when I've used that Benjamin Moore and I know it's an expensive paint, that went on lovely. Even over a chalky, cheapo paint. These, what am I thinking? That quick dry satin wood, what makes that better than that? Probably the flow, the coverage, the way it was applying was a lot nicer. But we need to see what this is like after two coats. We know two coats over this mucky cream colour is going to be fine, fingers crossed hopefully, but what's it going to be like long term wise? I'm not sure. Let's come back tomorrow and give them another coat because they say four to six hours, six hours recoat time. It's mental. It's literally mental. In this day and age, time is money. We don't want to be six hours recoating. Isomat, their eggshell is four to six hours. I have to say, I've been really impressed after testing out the Isomat, Isolac satin, and I'm using quite a bit more of that on jobs at the moment. Yes, it's an undercoat and two top coats, but the finish is lovely. And as I said in previous videos, you allow for your paint. If you're needing three coats, you price for it accordingly. If you're doing a proper job, you'll explain to the customers you're doing three coats. And if they're comparing it against somebody else's quote, ask them to, don't do apples and pears. You want to be doing oranges and oranges. It's got to be the same comparison when you're looking at quotes. I know it's a hard one, but let's see what we're like tomorrow. Over and out. Have a good night's sleep. Don't worry about it. I'll, I'll get to the bottom of this with you, for you. Thanks for listening. Give some comments. Don't forget to subscribe. See you tomorrow. Welcome back, my lovelies. I did what I said I was going to do. I'm going to leave it till next day. So um, I'm here next day. There's recoat times on these. Quick drying satin wood. Four to six hours. Mental. Diamond satin wood. Six hours recoat time. You've seen probably the previous video. Which, um, yeah, probably weren't too impressed with the diamond, unfortunately. But, no, I'm doing what I said I'm going to do. I'm going to give these a second coat, because these are both paints that need two coats. Again, I'll reiterate, if you've got a dark contrast in change of colour, it does say on the back of the tin, use a quick drying undercoat. We know that, so that would be the three coat process like a lot of other water-based paints are. One undercoat, stroke primer. If it was bare, you'd be priming it. If it's got a coat on it, you undercoat it, then two top coats. That is the process for, I'm gonna put my neck on the line, 99.9% .9 of water-based paints. Ask me questions if you want, yeah, you can do. Um, but let's just give these a second coat, because that's what they're asking for, two coats. Um, I'll coat them both up. I've got my tins here. Got my Arrowworthy brushes there. I've got two tins on the go, and I'll coat them up one after the other and let's give a review. Wish me luck. We'll go with the diamond first. You know what that's rubbish that is literally rubbish I've done one panel and we're what color are we a buff color now that's not a big contrasting change that's where you could have a magnolia woodwork something like that we're doing two coats this is the second coat not impressed not impressed
Hating the paint's too strong a word, isn't it? I can't say that. I mean, never hate anything. Well, just moving on. Do you know what? People moan about Farrow and Ball. If you moan about Farrow and Ball, you've obviously not used this. Right, just give me initial thoughts while it's just still wet. That is not easy to apply. I said that on a previous video. It's grinning. The quick dry satin, I would say, the application's a lot nicer. It's so easier. It's easier to paint. Can I say it? It's an easier paint to put on. Am I happy with how it's covered over that darker cream? Oh, that dark cream. Not quite. What I would say is, these paints are probably brilliant if you're going over your same sort of paint, white. Start going away from that white and going on to creams. Now my house, I'm at my house now, I've got cream woodworks, I've got dark green woodworks. Obviously I'm going to be a three coat process, but don't think that you can get away with two coats. Now spraying might be a different kettle of fish. We're not spraying, I'm talking to you, Dave, Martin, Hayley, well, I don't want to list too many names, Roger as well and there's um, Lisa and Sam. You are people that want a quick turnaround on jobs, working at home, anything, don't matter. Two coats would be ideal. Is that covering well? No. I've said it before, I reckon Bedek MSP would probably give you better coverage over that. We mean being a proper acrylic based paint, it probably covers a lot better. I even feel like doing a sample underneath with these against that Benjamin Moore, which I was impressed with. That was a two coat process. Yeah, we know over the black it needed another coat and I'm repeating myself on that. Sorry, I'm repeating myself again, but it's, yeah, it's a darkish colour, but it didn't. It's, yeah. Do you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna move it into the sun, get it drying, and we'll just final recap. I'm a bit upset. If Dulux, you're watching. I don't know who's testing these paints, but not in the real world you're not testing these paints in the real world and i know what the process of testing paints are well i'll say that 25 years ago might not be as long as that might be well, it could be i did go down to slough we had a paint day from um dulux bobber's mill nottingham we all went down we saw how you test paint you've got panels black white crisscross panels testing against European paints, your own paints, different manufacturer paints, rolling it, brushing it, I've seen all that. I'm only testing it on a door. It's not covering brilliant, is it? You've got a creep of a run there. I've not had a creep on a run on a paint for weeks and weeks and weeks. A bit disappointed. I'm gonna get it dry. Let's give a final round up. Right, let's give it a wind up then. I think you can um, probably tell I'm not too impressed with that diamond satin wood. Quick drying satin wood's not, I'd say not, not much further behind it, but. Right, you probably won't be able to see it, but I'll try and explain it to you. Right, both of them, very grinny. And this is the colour that we're going over.
Right, let's take that tape off. It's deepish colour, isn't it? We'll try and get. It's a deepish colour, but not every job is going to be you're going over white. And if you're going over white, you'll probably say, oh, two coats, that's fine. Brilliant, winner. A lot of the times we're not going over white in the trade. We're going over magnolias, whites that have been previously gloss, gone really yellow. So this is where we're doing. We're doing these extreme comparisons. That, but neither of them's really covered brilliantly. Would we giving it? Would we be giving it a third? Third? Would we be giving it a third coat? Yes. Now, if you're starting to go into that third coat process with the same paint, you might as well drop onto an undercoat and then to a two top coat finish. Now, there's better paints out there than this. Be next on the line. Bedek, Advanced Aqua, undercoat, two top coats, lovely finish, satin. Even the gloss, I know the gloss aren't 100% gloss, but they would have covered lovely over that. I'm gonna say it again, I said it earlier. Who, tell me, who's using these? Are you, move out the sun. Who's using these? Are you happy with the finish you're getting? If you're going over white, you probably are happy with the finish that you're getting. But for me, I've just tested it against that dark color and it's, it's it's not covering brilliantly. Sheen level is what I'd expect with a satin wood. It's got a nice sheen level. These are dry, they're not, they're not cured hard. I don't want to do scratch testing on it. I've got no issue that scratching it. I'm not going around scratching it. I wouldn't need it. Quick dry satin wood, a little bit thinner. For the application, went on a lot easier. But I am noticing I'm getting slight little runs with it which is a bit unusual. Now, the last time I had anything like that, which was running, is the Sickens BL, which was always a bit of thinner paint. And now you've seen, seen a video there, haven't you? Where you say to me, oh, Phil, what's it like? I'll go, that was a really good paint, you can't get any more. If they've converted that paint across to being this paint, it's similar, but it's not as good. That sickens, that colour there, sickens BL. Lovely finish. Why haven't we got that? That's rock hard. That is. You can't shift it. That. That's, that's as tight as Dave with his wallet in the pub on a Friday night. You know what I mean? That won't shift. But these two, not too impressed. What I'm going to do, I'm going to do another test on this panel below. I've got the quick drying undercoat and I've got the quick drying gloss. I'm going to do that, quick drying undercoat with two top coats of gloss. Let's see what that's like. To be fair, that will be a three coat process. These have only been two. But the previous videos you've seen where I've done Benjamin Moore, it's only been a two coat process. Did the Benjamin Moore, then I did Benjamin Moore comparing it against the diamond mat, er, uh, diamond mat, <laughs> diamond satin wood. You know which one I preferred. Yeah, but let's price. Litre, about 30 quid. Quick drying satin wood. That can range between 21 to 30, depending on where you buy it from for a litre tin. So let's call that as much of a muchness. No paint's cheap anymore. But I'm saying there's better paints out there. And you're probably not gonna like what I'm gonna say, but I won't be, I won't be rushing back to use these two paints. And on that note, I'm going to say, if you like what I'm coming out with, content-wise, give us a like, give us some love. There is that button to give me some um, thanks, send me, sending me thanks. Give me a little bit of money towards some um, bits and pieces I want to do for the channel. Software, software is my main thing, I want to get some better software for editing videos. And um, comments, I like comments, press that bell for the next videos. Might be some videos there coming through. Thanks for listening to me. Hope it helps.